Another budget device has entered dito sa ating studio and it's the Tecno Spark Go 1. Ano ba meron dito sa phone nito? It has 4 years na software updates. 4 years ha guys, take note para sa budget device like this one. Pretty good, solid. 120Hz of screen refresh rate. At this price point, you would never see a 120Hz of screen refresh rate. Punch hole lang ka ng camera. Normally at this price point, teardrop notch pa lang ang makukuha mo. Plus, side fingerprint scanner is also A+. Magugulat ka sa presyo once na sinabi ko siyo right after this intro. Now guys, the Tecno Spark Go 1 with a 3 plus 3 gigs of RAM and a 64 gigs of storage, which is expandable pa, has a price point of SRP, ah, 4,699. But pag subali kayo sa live selling ni James Afante this coming September 9, itong phone na ito would be on sale for just 2,699 pesos only. Guys, it's just half the price for a specs like this. Oh, kahit ako pinawisan ako, sobrang magiging sulit. Bago ko sabihin na sobrang sulit to, talakay muna natin everything na nandiscover ko sa phone na ito. First of all, ang kanilang design, it looks really nice. I love the way it is even though this is a very budget phone. Pag tinignan mo, ah, mukha siya yung puti ni Redmi K70 series na pag tinignan mo, parang may snowflakes dito. Ang ganda niya tingnan guys, promise. Hindi mo pagkakamalan, this is just a 2,000 something pesos na phone. And ang kanilang camera module looks quite like an iPhone as usual. Ito ang kanilang 13MP na lens and ito, wala lang daw. Another bonus is meron din siyang audio jack dito sa Lalim. Plus, another kicker is that this one has dual speaker. Isa dito sa ibabaw, isa dito sa ilalim. Which is never, never, never mo makikita to kahit 4,000 something, mas lalo na 2,000 something na price point. Never mo makita ang dual stereo speaker. And this one, DTS pa siya, guys. And guys, malino na kasunod. Dual speaker, DTS audio. Tapos, ang laban. And another bonus din is meron pa siya micro SD card expansion dito. Siyempre, 64, I'm pretty sure bitin na bitin yan para sa inyo. But don't worry, pwede ka naman bumili ng mga Sandis or mga Lexar na micro SD card na 120 or 256 which I can post on the description box below. Mag-ingat lang kayo kasi ang daming peking Sandis na card. Ang daming sa mga viewers natin nagreklamo na para ang bilis masira sa tayo ng Sandis na card. So, I would rather recommend mga Lexar na lang. Yun, wala kang makita mga peke. Ako personally, gamit ko Lexar. Now, this phone is running high OS 14.01 inside Android 14. I'm not quite sure kung Android Go nga ma ito. Pero based sa spec sheet, this is a Android Go edition. Now, this phone is being powered by the Unisoc na T615 na 12 nanometer na chip. Alam naman natin budget, so don't expect too much sa kanyang processor. Nakakuha naman siya ng 258,000 points dito sa Antutu Benchmark. And nung binreakdown natin, this is what I got. 154 lang nga ng loop score sa Wild Dive Extreme and 95 ang ganyang stability. Ito ang score na nakuha ko sa Geekbench, kanyang CPU benchmarking. Ito naman sa GPU benchmark. Well, okay naman kanyang thermals and it throttled to 87% na kanyang max performance. Now, one of the things na gusto ko rin dito sa Kenya is that even that this is an IPS LCD, not so bad ang ganyang display. Though there are times na medyo dim siya pag medyo maliwanag ang araw. I'm not quite sure kung ilan nits ang maximum brightness nito. No? Ang ula ko lang this is around 450 to 500 nits ang kanyang maximum brightness. And this one has a 6.67 inch na IPS LCD but ang kanyang kicker dito it can support up to 120Hz na screen refresh rate but you can only view up to 720p na video on this phone. Naku, ang healing mo naman is socials I'm pretty sure na kaya-kaya naman na mag-perform. You can browse quality content naman dito sa kanya except lang hindi lang niya kaya umabot ng 1080p na resolution. So sa swiping experience Naman, okay naman siya while I'm scrolling sa Facebook and sa TikTok sa YouTube, wala kang magiging problema dito. Nung chinek ko naman na DRM Info, this one only has a level 3, the wideband security level. So you cannot watch HD dito sa phone nito. But watching 720p na video dito sa YouTube, okay naman kanyang experience. Don't expect too much kasi you only paid around mga 2,000 something for a phone like this. Pretty solid na siya ang kanyang display. But don't expect too much. Now guys, yung sinabi ni Tecno na this one has dual speaker and DTS pa siya. So meron siya sa ibabaw at meron din siya sa ilalim ng speaker. Which sa ibabaw meron siya apat na butas, sa ilalim meron siya anim na butas. Check natin kung gano'ng kalakas nga ba ang audio nito. Would it surpass yung mga mid-range yung mga phone na nire-review natin? Pakingan mo to. 
Guys, actually, malakas siya. It can even match yung mga loudspeaker ng Tecno Camon 30 series. To be honest, not bad ang ganyang sound. Approve sa akin to. Now, pagdali naman sa battery, this one has a standard na 5,000mAh sa battery. Except that, medyo mabagal ang charging dito. 15 watts lang ang kaya nito phone nito. So, it's quite slow. Charging from 0 to 100 takes you around mga siguro more than 2 hours just to fill the tank up. But, ang okay naman dito sa kanya, kaya naman na magtagal ng one full day without any problem. Basta, you're using it normally. Wala yung heavy na gaming or watching video the full day. Kayang kaya na tumagal ng isang buong araw. So guys, tinry ko rin maglaro ng dalawang game dito. Si Mobile Legends and si Call of Duty Mobile. Both of this one, medyo low graphical settings ang pwede mo maset dito. Though na low graphical settings na sila, sa Call of Duty Mobile, sinagad ko naman sa best na kaya niya. Though mafe-feel mo talaga, biglang nagsiskip yung frame, medyo evident talaga sa kanya. So, medyo nahirapan ako mag-game kasi pag mag-aim ka pa lang, biglang lumilipat yung kalaba mo, hindi mo sila napapansin. No? Or pag slice mo ng, ng kutsilyo, biglang nawawala sila. Yun na napansin ko dito, so medyo hirap mag-gaming dito Probably it might be a little bit better Once uh, sinwitch mo siya on a lower graphical settings Now pagdating naman sa Mobile Legend This one was a little bit better Honestly, I was surprised na It can game uh, Doon sa recommended settings niya Though hindi mo may wasa na There are some minor frame drops along the way Pero hindi siya kasing evident ng Call of Duty Mobile If you are the type of person na mahili maglaro ng ML You can play on this phone at a lower graphical settings Which would definitely get the job done now guys, pag usapan natin ang camera nito. This one has a 13MP na rear camera which can let you record up to 1080p and 30fps. And kind of front-facing camera is a 8MP which can record up to 1080 and 30 as well. Now guys, pag usapan natin quickly some shots that I took from this camera and makita natin some of the shots are okay. But there are times na mapapansin mo na this camera might have a little bit more of a hard time to focus. Medyo the focusing take a little bit more time like let's say one to two seconds before siya makapag-focus na maayos uh, taking a some of these screens though it's a little bit gloomy these past few days dahil tuloy-tuloy ang ulan I wasn't able to take a really nice outdoor shot but overall I can say this shot is quite decent as well as this shot though medyo blurred na siya pag zoom in mo now taking some flower shot like this one mapapansin mo finocus ko sa flower pero nag-focus siya sa leaves instead but overall it can still get me some really decent shot like this one decent now but decent your expectation, hindi siya sobrang wow ang ganang camera. Well, pretty decent. And this one is quite okay though medyo na out of focus lang din siya. Now, further taking some shots, makita mo medyo na soften ng mga leaves dito. Pero itong sign niya ito is quite good naman when you zoom it in. And nung nilaro ko naman kanyang zoom lens, this is a normal shot and this is a two-time zoom shot. Papansin mo iba ang color ng sky niya. This one is a little bit lighter gray and this is a little bit more of a darker gray shade. For the past few days, puro ganun ng weather so I wasn't able to to give you some really nice na outdoor shot. Maybe bawi na lang ako pag gumanda ng weather so don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page para mag-share ako ng mga some photos that I took from this camera. Okay, so going indoor naman, it was quite good. This one is quite, yung dramatic naman shot na nakuha ko dito. And taking some shots like this one, though medyo nag-overexpose kunti sa ilaw, but it's okay. And taking this bean shot, I was surprised na pag zinomin ko, uy, buo pa rin sila. Ha? Hindi siya yung grainy na sobra. And taking a cap shot like this one is good. And focusing on this is quite good. Ha? Nakafocus siya ng halogen bulb, pero mag nilapita mo, it looks kinda good din naman nakuha ko dito. Quite decent. Though itong baso na ito is pinkish siya, but this so medyo nag-fade yung kanyang pink. And taking a quick food shot, okay naman siya. Makita mo ng mga bits ng Oreo dito sa cake na ito. This is a normal shot on indoors and this is a two-time zoom shot on indoors. So kita natin, the words are pretty much preserved even though ito mga malilit na words na dito. And this is probably one of my favorite shot naman dito sa loob ng indoor sa Starbucks. Now if you're taking a quick look naman sa kanyang front-facing camera, I would say uh, quite decent. Though it's a bit soft, pero parang it can perform way better than some other smartphones at this price range. For me, ah, it's quite good for its price point. And taking some indoor shot, wait, not bad, ah. not the best, but I would say na, not bad for its price range. If you take a look naman sa kanyang front-facing camera, not, not bad ang kanyang resolution at 1080 and 30, though it's a little bit shaky, but I can say it's quite a decent camera if you're using for video chat. Now, ito naman ang kanyang rear camera, though it's just a 1080 and 30, I would say a little bit shaky, parang front-facing camera niya, but quite decent naman ang kanyang resolution. Now guys, Tecno Spark Go 1. 
or just 2,699 sa 99 sale ni James Afante sa TikTok. What's not to love about this phone at this price point? I would say it's a steal dahil one, malakas ka ng audio, dual speaker na siya, two, punch hole na siya, 320Hz na ng screen refresh rate, and fourth is it has a four years na fluency update. Meaning, four years ang update ng software nito. Even though that this is a very, very basic model from Tecno, bah, binigyan nila ng pansin, finally. So guys, don't forget to check out the 99 sale ni James Afante. So I'll be linking on the description box below kung saan kaya pwede mag-register para sa ng sale. But if you like to buy this phone sa Shopee and Lazada, I'll also be posting the link on the description box below. So if you like this video, don't forget to share it to your friends, sub to this channel. It's definitely awesome. I'll see you on the next one. And so, ako para sa Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.